Hi, my name is Stratos. In this series, we're going to build a website using the Oxygen Page Builder, or the Oxygen Website Builder, as they call it, because it's pretty much for the whole website and not just the pages which you can build. The header, you can build the footer, you can build the layout of the posts, of the archive posts, of the single post, and of course, since the three 0.0 version you can also build the layout of your WooCommerce products. I wanted to create a series because I want to get into very much details for every page, for the SEO, for how to create this, how to create that and not just create a video uh, with two hours or two and a half hours of video that will cover up the basics. It will, it will, uh, will include uh, long videos, but uh, there will be enough videos, I think, to cover up pretty much everything. I hope I will cover up everything. Of course, I'm not an expert. I don't know everything. I will uh, try to show you what I know of. I have created some websites already with the Oxygen Page Builder. I really like it. I think that uh, it has some uh, work to be done uh, still. There are some elements that I would like to have. There are some things that I will show you. Some things that I have found as bugs or done to work or there have, they, they could improve. Um, I want to say sorry for any mistakes that I will do. English is not my first language. Uh, if you want to see something in this series, please add it in the comments below in this video or every other video. If you have already commented a video of mine, you probably have seen that I will, I'll try to get back to you as soon as it possible. Okay. I try to get fast response. Uh, so uh, if you want to see something in this series, please add it in the comments below. So we will cover uh, buying a, a space for uh, the website and we will cover buying the domain. Okay, going in the Oxygen Builder, downloading, install WordPress, install the Oxygen Builder and created pages, posts, uh, the layout, the header, the footer, the logo and then SEO. Uh, how to connect to Google Analytics, how to get uh, I don't know what else we will add. Okay. And uh, we will con uh, we'll create contact forms. We will create uh, anything that we can get our hands on just to show you how you can create a fully uh, website. If you're an agent, uh, maybe you want to know more. I could also create some videos about, uh, I don't know, the SQL, uh, more for PHP, HTML. But if you don't know very much and you just want to create a site for yourself, uh, maybe you don't care about all of those things. I will see how it goes for that. So uh, again, sorry for any mistakes that I will create, uh, will make. I also, <laughs> now that I'm speaking, I do mistakes. I know I haven't written anything down. So this is all on the fly. I don't know if this is the correct expression. So we will going to use Oxygen, as I have said. It's a very fast and very good uh, website builder. And uh, we will follow the next video, buying a website, uh, buying, sorry, a space to host our... Uh, not, not in the next video. I will do it in this video. There is no point for me, I think, to do it in the next video. So, uh, what you need to build a website, you need uh, three things. The first one is the space that you want. So, uh, the website is hosted in there. Think it as a hard drive that it's constantly online. And inside the hard drive, you have some space. You rent a space and then you can uh, put your website. The second part that you need, the second thing that you need is a domain name. This is the name that you put in the URL and the one that visits uh, your site types that URL to see your website. The third thing is the uh, uh, website itself. So the pages, the post and the program that it will run uh, when someone uh, visits your website. So uh, there are many places that you can go and buy the domain and of course many web hosting companies. I will uh, show you here the SiteGround hosting company. It's a very good, highly recommended site, uh, web hosting company. They had very fast response. They are reasonably priced. They are not the cheapest one, but 
uh, for me, you shouldn't go for the cheapest one. When I start creating websites, I also didn't want to pay much for the web hosting. And I tried it a company that were more affordable. But in the long run, you should have always a, a better web hosting company. The site will load faster. You have better SEO if the speed of the website is better. And from statistically speaking, uh, if your website takes more than, I, I think, three seconds to load, you have more than 50% uh, of the visitors that will not continue with your website. They were going to go somewhere else. So let's go here in the SiteGround website. I will put a link in the description below. It will be an affiliate link if you click there and you will pay no more money than uh, if you go by yourself. But uh, I will get a little bit of commission to help me uh, provide you videos like this. So let's go and uh, here we will click the web hosting, get started. And this is where we are going to decide which package we are going to for. A startup is for only one website. It's 10 gigabyte web space and 10,000 visitors monthly. Now, this is an estimated. This is uh, just to show you that if you have a new website and you uh, calculate that you have about about 10,000 visitors monthly, as it says here, you should go for this uh, package. Uh, it's not that it won't serve for 11,000 visitors, but uh, if it's just to estimate what your needs are. Of course, if you buy something like that and you see that you have more visitors, you can upgrade with the, with the next package. Okay, it's not that you buy this and you stuck with it. So let's go and get plan. And this is where we are going to put our domain. Now, I'm not a fan of registering my domain inside the web hosting company. I like to buy it elsewhere because uh, if I, after some years or a, a month or two, I decide that I don't want to use SiteGround anymore and I want to go to another web hosting company, I don't want to keep my account inside the SiteGround. I don't need to. So I want the domain name to be somewhere else. So uh, I'm always buying my domains that I am .com or anything else, not locally, because I'm from Greece. So if I don't, if I want to buy .gr, name chip is not for me. But if I want to buy a .com, .net, or anything else, I would buy it for those guys. Let's go here. So here I have already have a domain. You will click here, and you will type your domain here. Uh, if you don't have any domain now, you can go ahead and log into not login go ahead and visit the name chip and try to find something to write down here so let's go for stratos tutorials dot com and i will search for this and this is the website that i want create want to create for now so let's go it's searching right now and as you can see, this is not uh, available. I have already taken it. And you can make an offer to buy it. And if you want, you can try something else. .net, .dev, .i, .org. And you can see all of those results. Whatever you want to buy, you can add it to cart. And you can go ahead with that. Uh, I will use this one. But uh, if you find something that you can, uh, you, you like, Okay, if you don't find this, you can search for something else. Right here, I don't think, Stratus Tutorials 1. I hope no one has it, okay. And you're going to click Add it to Cart if you want this one. Add to Cart. And you will buy it, this. Let's grab it, copy it, and let's paste it here. So this is how you want going to do it just to make sure that you there is no typo here typos here there are, there are no mistakes you have to make sure that this is the one that you uh, have pur purchased 
if you make a mistake here, it's not that you cannot uh, correct it after that, but the first domain name will be attached to your hosting, to web hosting account. This web hosting package that we select only a wants one domain but of course you can contact support and change that but be sure to not get into those kind of trouble and uh, buy the correct one uh, at first and uh, also type the correct one so i will remove the one here because i already have the domain and i will go ahead and proceed okay already taking this and uh, no something is wrong here Okay, it's already in the system. Okay, doesn't matter. Let's go and type one and let's proceed. Uh, I have also already connected the domain inside the uh, side ground and that's why they said me that it's already connected in the system. The domain is not registered. Would you like to register now? No, thank you. I don't want to register now. And let's go and fill out those uh, fields. Okay, here you will select the months that you are going to buy the domain for. You can go ahead for 12 months. And if you add anything else, you will see that the price will, I think that will go lower. No, it's always 3.95 every month. Let's go and see if there's something else. Here you will provide the email, the password. This is the information of your country. This is the payment information. If you want to pay through PayPal, you can contact the support by going here, help and uh, lo not login for support. Sorry. Uh, where, is it, where is it? I think it's in the first uh, page, in the home page. But here you can go here, contact us and you, you will chat with them not uh, give them a ticket or anything else they are immediately uh, respond responding and uh, you will be provided with a link to pay with paypal after that you are going to select the startup plan that's the plan that we selected okay not the grow big, big or the go geek startup this is the data center you select that uh, Usually you select the place that you live, but if you live in Europe and you want to create a site that mostly concerns people from US, then you should select here the US or vice versa. So you uh, should really consider uh, in which country they are going to view, you have more visitors from. So I'm from Europe, so I will select Europe and if I, I am guessing that the more visitors are from, U, from US, then I should select US. It's not so important. Uh, you will have a better ping. You will have a better response for a latency time, but it's not so very much important. Uh, even if you select US and someone from Australia wants to log in, he will log in and visit the site regularly. So let's go for 12 months. Here you can add S, you can add SD site scanner. I haven't used it, but it's monitoring the services as you can see here. But we will add the protection plugin, a free protection plugin, and we will see how that works. So after you, uh, after you fill all those, you will confirm that you have read and agreed to the term services, privacy policy, and you will click pay now. Uh, you should know that they offer 30, ma 30 days money back guarantee. If you don't like the services, you can ask for a refund. Okay, they are very reasonably priced for that they offer, what they offer. And just to be sure, you pay for one year $58, but after that, the price will, will go up to $9.95 a month. So about $130, uh, 30 euros, I think. Something like that if you are uh, elsewhere and not Greece as I have put here let's go for US United States so here we have uh, okay didn't refresh <laughs> as I see here so you will see the money of course by yourself so just go ahead and click pay now and let's go to the next step uh, this will bring this they will send you an email with all the information that uh, you are going to to have and we will see it in the next video let's go here in the domain name okay 
and here will you will search for uh, as I did before you will search for the name that you want you have already searched I hope for the name that you want it's not necessary that you must go for name chip but this is what I'm using for the last uh, four years I think yeah four years so go ahead and add it to cart what you want and then you will go to your cart view cart And of course, here you will uh, input your information and pay. This is for one year, as you can see here, and you can select more years here. You have the auto renew. Uh, of course, they will inform you uh, one month or more before the end of the year. So you were going to renew it. And who is guard is uh, basically a free service that they offer is a, a service is, is a protection for you so if someone will search for the for the website not for the website for the domain stratustutorials.com he will not get my uh, email he will not get anything from me he will get, just get the name chip company and if he wants to buy my domain he will contact name chip and name chip will contact me no more information will be uh, to anyone else so this is nice that i have it for free as you can see here free forever uh, always enabled it's no point for you to disable it except if you are buying multiple domains just to sell them uh, so uh, as you can see here you don't need anything else from this okay i don't think anything else is uh, no anything else is not needed here and you go here confirm order and then create an account username password email address and you go ahead and create the account and of course go ahead and pay after that uh, since i have already paid for that it's not something difficult i will in the next video i will connect to my account and of course i will go ahead and pay here for that services and connect to my account also so i will see you all guys in the next video subscribe to my channel for the series that follows after that after this video and if you want to see anything else if you want me to cover something else please write it in the comments below thanks guys bye